If you're interested in selling digital designs on sites like Etsy, there's one thing that's more important than all the others. Yes, it's important to make great looking designs. And it's important to have a lot of designs usually. But the thing that's most important is niche marketing. You need to sell designs in categories and keyword searches that people are actually looking for. So in this video, I've got a great niche research tool called Everbee. And I'm going to walk through a few different tips and tricks on how to use this site. Now, if you're interested in signing up for Everbee, I'll put a link in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase the subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump into Everbee and check out exactly what's involved. Okay, when you first log into Everbee, you're going to see a dashboard like this. And if you have an Etsy account, you can link it up to your dashboard. I'm going to just use Everbee as is. I'm not going to link it up to an Etsy store. So I'm going to go over here to the left hand side. And I'm going to see that there's research tools you can expand out and under research tools I'm going to click on product analytics and what that's going to do is take a look at all the products that are listed on Etsy and it's going to give me values attached to them so here for example I'm going to search at the top I'm going to type in the word SVG which is a scalable vector graphic and I'm going to click search products okay so we're going to get back a bunch of different results here and we can see there's photos along the left hand side so you can scroll over and you can see different things that are being sold you can also click through onto Etsy. I'll show you that in just a moment. You can expand out the product name so you can see it in its entirety. There's the shop name, there's the price of the item, there's the monthly sales and the monthly revenue. So I'm going to go here to total sales and I'm going to click on this little down arrow key. That's going to show me in descending order the number of sales. So here we can see at the top for $2 someone is selling rolled flower templates. I'm going to click on it. You can see over on the right hand side now a bunch of information is going to come up. We can actually view this right on Etsy. If I click right here, this will open up a new window and we can see the actual design. So you can go right very quickly into Etsy and you can see exactly who's selling what and how much they're selling it for. You can continue to scroll over as well and check this out. We've got average reviews, views, categories that people are selling stuff in, the shop age and the visibility score, conversion rate, and total shop sales. So you can do a ton of research very quickly in this interface, and you can look at things that are actually selling. I'm gonna niche down just a tiny bit, and I'm going to type in Office SVG, and we can see if things now come up in related to an office. There's 8,100 listings. Again, we can go by monthly revenue, total sales, whatever you like. I like going by total sales. You can either do ascending or descending. And then I can scroll on down and I can see if there's certain things that are something that I could compete in. So here's an interesting one, punch today in the face, motivational quote. I'm going to click on it and we can see the same thing here pops up. It's $3, estimated monthly revenue, estimated sales. And there's a whole bunch of different information down here at the bottom. You can click on view on Etsy right there and you can get right into the actual listing. Okay, so let's say that we really like this shop and we want to see it in a bit more detail. I'm going to click on the visit the shop button in Etsy and I'm going to see here's the name of the actual store. I'm just going to right click and copy it. We can see they've made over 100,000 sales. So maybe we want to see what this store is doing in a bit more detail. Well, we go back into Everbee and I can go to the next research tool, which is the shop analyzer. When I click on shop analyzer, I can search by shop right at the top. I'm going to simply paste in the name of the shop and click search. And what that's going to do now is give me 664 listings that are on the shop. And when I click on Etsy, I can see that right here, there's 664 listings on Etsy. Well, all 664 listings are now captured inside of Everbee. And I can scroll on through the different results. And I can see things like listing age, total sales, monthly sales, monthly revenue estimated, and so on. It's a really useful tool to see exactly how and why these stores are making sales. You can even run a report right here on the top right. If I click on export, it's actually going to send this to my email and I can pull this out now in a spreadsheet. So another feature that I really like is the keyword research tool. And using this, you can look at keyword scores and you can search for things as well. So for example, I'm gonna type in wedding gift and I'm going to click the search button. So what I like about this is that the wedding gift results shows me the search volume right at the top. So there's 16,000 searches every month, but there's over 5 million listings. And that's going to give me a keyword score that's very low. 
And the reason it's very low is because realistically, there's just too much competition. So let's see if we can figure out a niche that maybe we can work with. I'm gonna type in plumber SVG. It's a very specific niche for digital designs. We can see there's less than 20 searches a month. There's 860 listings in competition. That's a pretty wimpy keyword score. Hmm, well let's try something else. Maybe electrician SVG might be a bit better. Not really, I mean the search volume's 20, competition, they factor in some sales. There's not really a lot there. Hmm, well how about we look at something that's perhaps seasonal, like Poppy SVG, Remembrance Day, that kind of thing. Well the search volume right now is 1,000. That could go up over time and the competition's actually fairly low, it's only 2,200. You can see the keyword score now is pretty robust. So using this and the related keywords down below, you can actually sometimes find some really good search terms that you may not have thought of in the past. So one feature that I really like on Everbee is the idea that you can track products over time. So on the left hand side, I've clicked on listing rank tracker and I can add a new product. So let's say you're on Etsy. Here's an example. I'm on Etsy. I see this funny cat design and I go, huh? Okay, this might be something worth tracking. Maybe I want to track the sales on it or how well it's ranking in keyword search. So I simply copy the link at the top, the actual hyperlink. I go into Everbee, I click add new product, and then here I can right click and paste the actual product. There it is, it comes up, it shows me the tags. I can even copy the keywords with one click. I can click start tracking and it will now add it to the listing rank tracker. Over time, I can see how this changes. It says top 10, the number of keywords that this listing is ranking in the top 10, the top 50, and the top 350. Shows me the date that I added it onto Everbee, and then I can track this over time. I can also edit it and delete it. You could have a whole bunch of different listings, and you can track very easily simply by clicking on it. You can see exactly what the keywords are, how it's searching, the competition, and the corresponding keyword scores. You can essentially mimic what a successful shop is doing by reverse engineering things like keywords and niches. I really like Everbee, it's actually really easy to use and it's fun to look through different listings and figure out where your opportunities lie. If you're interested in Everbee, I have a link in the video description below. I highly encourage you to check it out. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your digital design journey. Thanks for watching.